Uh, Garden of Ban Ban. Where do I begin with this game? This is a fever dream of a game. Oh boy. In my opinion, Garden of Ban Ban is way over hated. And I would be defending it. Now this video is probably going to be one of my most controversial videos ever. Considering everybody has collectively decided that Garden of Ban Ban is the worst horror game to ever exist. And have you seen mobile horror games? <laughs> like, seriously, come on. Now, I'm going to be saying some stuff that I'm not going to like in this video. So, even I'm going to become the very thing I swore to destroy. Um, yeah, so I got in a text battle with another commenter because I was defending Garden of Ban Ban. Because somebody was saying how, oh my god, this Garden of Mid Mid and stuff like that. And I had to give my two cents. I was like, oh my god. Can people, like, shut up? It's been... We're, like, seven or eight games deep, and... And people still are hating on Garden of Ban Ban. Like, oh my god, shut up. For It's just like, ugh. The horror game community has a massive problem, and that is hate. They immediately judge a, a game without looking deep into the game. They see it on the surface level. And that's a massive problem. Our, the massive problem with with the horror community is that we never look deep into something. We just see something on face value and immediately hate it. Such as Poppy Playtime. People hated Poppy Playtime. They even did the whole NFT thing. And we still love Poppy Playtime. And I'm not and I'm not saying that. We should go on and hate Poppy Playtime for trying to do the whole NFT thing. But, like, come on. Garden of Ban Ban is, like, one of my favorite... Well, I wouldn't say one of my favorite. But I actually enjoy Garden of Ban Ban. And no, I'm not some brain rot five-year-old. Not at all. I am an avid horror enjoyer, and I actually like to see the story. I'm actually invested in the lore of Garden of Man Bit. I want to see the big reveal of what the kids are, because I have thoughts about the lore of Garden of Ban Ban, and I think that there is, there is treasure underneath all the trash that people are missing. The story is unique. Cause what other game, what other mascot horror game has us looking for a child in a daycare with mutants? Because I can tell you this much, there isn't, there isn't any kids being stuffed in monsters or anything. I think these are actually like mutants and like the mutants have new blood and stuff like that. Like they were messing with biogenetics and a lot of like the teachers and stuff have turned into these mutant creatures or something like that and yes that does sound very poppy playtime but poppy playtime is not mutants they're toys that have that were made with like body parts and stuff like, I have not seen anything. And the funny thing is that your hate fuels the Euphoric Brothers. Is that is that who made the game? I don't even remember. I think it's the Euphoric Brothers. Now on to defending this game more. The fact that this game was made by two people. Yes, that's right. Not an entire team. The Euphoric Brothers are two people. Hence the name Euphoric Brothers brothers made by two people now you could argue and somebody did that scott cawthon made made five nights at freddy's and he was a one-man army 
But you gotta remember that how FNAF started was a point and click. Now, and I'm not saying that point and clicks are easy to make either. Absolutely not. But they're easier than making a full on a full on 3D game. And that's no disrespect to Scott at all. You guys know that I love FNAF. Like, even FNAF Sister Location was a point and click. And I hate to say it, but mobile games are... A lot of mobile games are point and click, so it's like... You know? And a lot of, like, the... Like, the old school projects are point and click. Like, and again, no disrespect to Scott. I love Scott. But in context, it's just, the hate needs to stop. It's getting old. Everybody hated Poppy's Playtime at first, and now look where it is. Everybody loves Poppy Playtime. Everybody hated FNAF. And look where it is. FNAF is loved. It just... It needs to stop. Seriously. Because every game has started out being hated. And it's like... I'm getting kind of tired of the... Fin I'm getting kind of tired of... The horror game community. Because it's like... If it's not a massive fucking masterpiece then people shit on it so much. And that needs to stop. Because there will never be another Poppy's Playtime. There will never be another Five Nights at Freddy's. I hate to break it to you, but there no other horror game is going to be... Or not every horror game is going to be Poppy Playtime level or FNAF level. No, it's very rarely going to be that big a hit of a game. And you want to know what's funny... Garden of Ban Ban won. All of the people talking shit about Garden of Ban Ban is fueling the Euphoric Brothers because essentially you made it popular enough to where it's kind. You made it popular enough to where it can be compared to Five Nights at Freddy's or Poppy Playtime. I just think people need to grow up, honestly. And that's not hating on the horror game community. I understand that Garden of Ban Ban is not the best horror game. And I'm not claiming it is. Is it? It's actually one of the worst, in my opinion, too. But for God's sake, stop hating. Like, you have your opinion about Garden of Ban Ban, but the level of hate that it got... Is annoying. the The newer games. You want to know what's. You want to know why the newer games are better, is because they have more money. You got to understand that Scott Cawthon in the later games, and like by FNAF two, earned enough money to make the games better and bigger. The Euphoric Brothers made Garden of Ban Ban. All these Garden of Ban Ban games are literally made off of. Literally no budget, and they still look like this. Which is surprising. Like, the fact that they have such a low budget, but it still is, like, a functional game, questionably, but still. You can still walk around, and it's still, like, a 3D game. So it's, like, the fact that we have this as the final project is insane. Because a lot of... Because mobile games... Because mobile games, I don't know where I was going with that, <laughs> but you understand what I'm trying to say, is that we should never, we should stop judging horror games immediately, because it'll just make, it'll just make an ass out of everybody who hates it. Like, you can have your opinion, I don't care, I'm not like a massive Garden of Band Band simp, like I'm not gonna get into full-on fist fights over people who don't like Garden of Ban Ban. I'm just saying that we need to stop just hating. 
Because it's kind of getting... It's like... I know I'm a broken record right now. But it's really, really getting old. That we never, like, give games a chance. Anymore. I don't know. Just... I don't know, man. It's just, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that the horror community has gotten to this point to where we won't even give games a chance. We just immediately say, oh, it's a, this clone and, and a, that clone. Hate to break it to you, but nowadays it's almost impossible to be original. Like, every shooter game is going to be compared to Call of Duty. Every horror game is going to be compared to going to be compared to Five Nights at Freddy's. Every, every simulator game is going to be compared to freaking, what was a popular game? But you know what I'm trying to say? Like, now, like, we got to get used to the fact that there won't be any more unique games out there. Like, there could be unique storytelling in the way that they tell the story, but there won't be a completely unique, fully unique horror game. Because all of, like, the good, all of, like, the horror games that were unique are gone. Like, uh, that puppet game, the, oh, fuck, what was it called again? It was, like, my, oh, My Friendly Neighborhood? I never seen a mascot horror game where you ha where you have to actively shoot the enemies, but now that that title of being a unique game has gone over to I already forgot the name, My Friendly Neighborhood. Now, granted, it was a lot like um Resident Evil, but it was still unique. Like, I'm just trying to make it a point that we should not hate every single game that comes out just because it seems like a clone. Because it's unfortunate, but there aren't going to be any more unique games. And in the next couple of years, there's going to be like every game is going to be a copy of one another. And that's unfortunate, but it's the truth. Anyway, I just wanted to come out here and say that uh, no hate to anybody who who dislikes Garden of Band Band. But anyway, yeah, I'm rambling on too much. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, and yeah.